Well, we probably all got C-clamps sitting around and every once in a while, one of these swivel pads will pop off of there. My dad had a couple, I've got a couple. Um, and it would be nice if there was some quick fix to it. I have tried smashing down this skirt. As you can see, it's kind of thin. Smashing it down uh, on here, putting it in there and kind of pummeling it with different things. Uh, punch and chisel and what have you. And it stays for a while, but the first time there's a little glue on the board or whatever and you back it off, it pops right off of there. So I'm trying to think of a more permanent fix. I've thought about slicing this, again, using my Dremel or whatever, slicing it across here, folding it over, and then uh, tack welding it. And if I had a MIG or a TIG welder or even a brazing rig, that would probably work pretty well. I could probably get a really strong uh, closure on this, but I don't have those. All I've got is an arc welder. So yeah, my arc welder would probably blow metal this thin just completely the way, just vaporize it. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. A lock washer, and if I split that lock, cut, I can go in here, I can put that around here. I can cut off this upper part just like the other and get down to some more meaty, meaty metal and tack weld it around there. Uh, we'll go do this and then we'll know if it's gonna work or not. Something I learned a long time ago is when you're gonna, is we're gonna open a split ring like this, you spread it like this. And that applies to whether you're working with something like a washer or a piece of jewelry, those split rings on jewelry. Yeah, it all works the same. And once it's in place like this, you just need to close it back up. Um, I'll do that off camera since I've only got two hands. There we have our split washer on there. All nice and ready to go. It's not going to come off of there. And we put our piece back on here. We'll cut this down, put that in place, and tack weld it. Okay, so next step is to cut this off. Well, as you can see, I've got it ground off down into the thicker spot. I almost went too far with it. I'll start with the uh, gap right there, of course, to keep, make sure that the ring uh, stays together under pressure, and then I'll just uh, tack the washer and the pad together all the way around. And that should be that, and uh, depending on how good my welding is, this will either be a success or a failure. It's all welded up, and the good news is that it's on there. It's stronger than the original, uh, the original design. The bad news is, well, it's my welding that's the weak spot. Well, that was it for this clamp repair. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your home DIY projects.